Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, this is the first speak today, and I hope you have drink a lot of coffee <coughs> because night the game night I think was very hard, and other people do worse things in other places. So I think all of we are very tired. Then this speak is about how to collaborate with a guy. But if you view the, the name of the presentation, says from GMT plus one. This means how to collaborate with a guy not being in USA. Um, it's not so easy uh, to be in Spain, in Japan, in other places, and to be integrated in the community. Here you have everything very near. You have the same time zone. You have the same language. But uh, we have some problems for this. Um, now the talk is about uh, experience in Spain, about how several universities can join in a team and improve a lot um, the way they are collaborating. And of course, this is helpful for Sakai, and it improves Sakai too. So they are going to talk now. Danny, please. Uh, here uh, you can see who we are. Top, uh, you can see the seven colleges that are members of the Spanish Saga Users Group, and uh, we are also open to to enterprises. And in fact, uh, we have three enterprises that uh, work uh, the group with us. As we said uh, in the bottom, uh, this group is open to anyone who wants to collaborate. It just uh, ask uh, effort to just uh, to participate. <coughs> uh, here you can see a map of Spain where. Uh, college and enterprises are placed in the map. As you can see, uh, there is one in Madrid, the Tense. There are two in the north. One is the mine. <laughs> and uh, most of them are very close to the Mediterranean Sea. It's good for them. And uh, finally, uh, you can see here some stats uh, only of the college. The, the prices. As you can see, the, the, uh, all our college are very, very diverse. We have uh, a big, the biggest in the Valencia University, Valencia College, 14,000 users. And the smallest one is the, the mine, Navarra, with 8,000 users. And now, uh, Okay, hey, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Raúl from Valencia. Uh, this is uh, you know, the map of the Spanish universities, UC Sakai. And every one of the universities who started just setting out our, our instances just to you know give that, that solution for our university students and faculty. And after having the the instance running with all the complicated processes of setting up the instance, pilots, etc. We said that we found we joined, start talking one to each other at universities, so that we had like a the, 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 we had a, a common problem. Okay, so we had like a, a lack of internal resources to develop and improve Sakai okay? using university resources, but we could do the things using a small uh, budget that we could use for uh, medium sized pro uh, projects. Okay. And one uh, thing that is was uh, special for the Spanish Sakai instance is that many, uh, there are like four areas in Spain that have their own language. So we needed to have Sakai running in both languages. And that means not that. You, you, you set up an instance in just one language and it's all the time running in that language. That means that 
the users have the right for law by law to decide which language they want to use when they use the university services. So we had to offer that in, in Okay. So we decided to, to join and share resources and you know uh, think that we had the same problems, we could find a common solution. And at the same time collaborate and give that experience back to the to the, the community. So, okay. so how we started to work at that time. We started with uh, having some meetings, some conference. I wouldn't call it just big conference at this one, it was just like small meetings among the universities. Okay? And we also had some meetings in the regional conferences in Europe. Okay. We also had meetings using video conference, like the, that picture you see there. Okay. Uh, at that time, we didn't have any representative person of the Latin American or Spanish speaking uh, universities in the community of Sakai. Now, in 2008, that, that figure was created by the, the Sakai Foundation. But we had uh, at least just to speak in Spanish. So, because, I mean, the, the, the barrier of the language is, is important for many of the uh, people that is working in Sakai, the Latin American environment. So, that was like more easy to people in South America, for instance, to start approaching to Sakai speaking Spanish instead of having to deal with the English in the, Spanish, in the Sakai kids. So, we started with collaboration from the beginning. I mean, like, but, but, but we did the collaboration in two ways. The first one was with individual collaboration. I mean, every university has their own requirements, and we gather those requirements, and we focus on the uh, providing solutions for our institutions. And after fixing those solutions, we decided, okay, this is a patch I have here, and I want to contribute that. I want to contribute that because I'm. I don't want to repeat that patch again when it's changed the version in Sakai. So I contribute because I believe in open source and also because I don't want to do it again. Okay. So that was the, the way to work. And in that time, all the universities were, were working in their special interests. Okay. Uh, but we saw that we were repeating the efforts in more than one university because we were not coordinating deciding which changes to do or which changes not to do in the Sakai instance. And when you wanted also to upload the patches to the trunk version, you had to deal with the tool owners at that time and you know contact them, trying to convince them that the feature you, you had created was good and just try to uh, push that code to the trunk. Also we decided that it was a the time to give a step beyond and go to group collaboration. At that time, what we decided was, OK, do not repeat the effort, do not repeat the job in, in, in every university. Let's decide first what things are interesting for the group of universities, and then do the implementation. Okay. What we did at that time was, OK, look for common requirements, and classify them, and decide which ones should be interesting to, to be implemented. And once we had implemented that we had you know the, the quotation of how much how many how, how long it would take to improve, to implement or how many it would cost, okay, we, we look for the resources. And the resources were provided uh, equally by all the universities. But they could decide if they, if they give some money or they give some time from a technician. So we at that time we generated a code of uh, like four or five big uh, uh, features, and we generated code using that, that mix, mix way. Half of the code was generated by a company, paid by some universities, and half of the other code was generated by uh, the, the old technicians in, the, in some of the institutions. Okay. As usual, after finishing <coughs> that uh, batch, that, that code, we upload that to the trunk, we create the Jira, okay. uh, just try to put it back in the trunk. OK, but that's the hard reality of the Jira in Sakai, is that even every uh, improvement has a Jira, have their own explanation, they could contact us. OK, many of them never went to track. OK, uh, you could only have them 
two minutes if you was you know, following the developers here in the conference and just trying to, to put them. Okay, this is this this part is okay. You should put it in. You should put it in. Okay, we didn't find like a good way to make all our efforts be in the community. Okay, so many of those patches uh, never were applied. They are still there as, as open Jira, and this time we are trying to to clean it up. With this way of working, we had like some bad experiences, and this is three of the examples of, of bad experiences. It deals with three uh, features: group assignments, zip download of resources, and multiple choice question and answer. Those three features were developed by Spanish universities like uh, four years ago, and they were in Jira with the patch available to be committed to Trump, but never were committed. And suddenly. Other institution, or our company dealing with Sakai, decided to do something similar, and they straight away was put it in the trunk and available for the next person. Now we have the, to take the decision if we go with the Sakai code base uh, with the, the, the feature that was included inside the, the trunk, or we decide to go on with our own implementation of these features. Okay. That's a problem now for us. I mean, we invested, the other university did the same work, and at the end, it was a, a, a redundant work done. It was done to, to twice, once for once by us, once by the, by, by the other universities. And apart from that, now we have a problem. But to decide if, we, if that functionality is hit in our instance or is changed to the functionality of Sakai. Because even, even if they are the same features, they don't work exactly in the same way. So the users get used to one way of doing things. And maybe in the next version, we'll have to change them how to do the things. Okay. But we didn't do everything bad. Okay? We also uh, did some good collaboration, especially focus on internationalization. Okay? We started, Jada uh, started the internationalization by itself uh, from the early beginning. Then we, uh, in Valencia, decided to to help with the choice of the language, uh, also held by the University of Nagoya. And we also did the, we also have the translation, we're keeping the translation of the three languages, Catalan, Basque, and Spanish. We also have now a, a figure, is the QA for internationalization link that was hosted by one of our colleagues, David Roldan, and Miguel, Miguel Carro, and now it's hosted by Diego. Okay. Uh, sorry, the other language they deal with international uh, interna international relationship with Iberia America. It's a figure by the Sakai project community just to try to spread the Sakai in South America. Uh, I think this is your turn. Because we, uh, what, what happened now is that we decided that uh, that way was giving us a lot of progress. So I'm like the bad guy here telling you all the products that we have. And I'm uh, Mariano is being the, the superhero that will tell you <laughs> what uh, how we done just to improve our situation. Hi everyone. Thank you for that presentation. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Mariano, I come from the University of Lutheran, and I'm um, actually uh, representing this group uh, in front of the community. So uh, if you have any Questions after talks or anything, you can just email me or, or whatever. So, <clears throat> it's a conclusion of everything that Raul just mentioned. And I'm sorry for my voice, but they say we have some karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, as a conclusion, we, we believe that this is how we were in the community. So, we, we knew that the community was there when it was cool. We, we liked the, the cars. Uh, um, you know, we wanted to use them, but we were all sitting in the grandstand, so uh, just looking at the cars pass by. You know. But <clears throat> as everything in life, everything evolves. Um, even Rafa Nadal has become now a superhero, but he you know, used to be that guy, uh, pretty thin, uh, with that arm, like right now. So yeah, so we we have to change. Okay, we had to change that we were working. Um, 
we were all aware that we made those mistakes. But the good thing is that we wanted to change that. So uh, last November, we uh, had a meeting in Madrid uh, with the, the special support of uh, Ian Dolphin and Neil Katie. Uh, they both came to to Madrid to be to be with us, and uh, it was mainly focused on the institutions that you saw uh, before, and it was open also to uh, teachers. So we had actually participation from from teachers from the University of uh, of Madrid. Um, it was a simple thing. It was a two days workshop. So the first day was open conferences. So everybody went there and uh, we did like a presentation where each institution uh, said what they were worrying about and what their concerns were about the future, what they were doing at that moment. And then we also had some um, open conferences, like uh, some guys would talk about the new uh, feature that they were doing with WebRTC. And some other people talk about what their company was doing. And then the second day was um, more of a workshop. It was closed just for us to try to make this change, change happen. So, um, yeah, um, we had a clear uh, thing of what we wanted to do. Um, the message was like, we need to start working as a team, not as a group. Um, so we need to actually have tasks. We need to have responsible people for each task. And we gotta get this work done and then move forward. <clears throat> so, what did we do? Like, uh, you, you don't know what to do. You copy something that you see that it's working. So, we copy the same mechanism that the community were, were using, which is to have a call uh, that everybody can attend uh, with a strict timing. So, it's from one to two, and that's it. And, so we have a, we're using for that, we're using a cauliflower room provided by the uh, Apparel Foundation. And we hold these uh, calls every Tuesday. And we just do, a, um, how you say, like an agenda. Everybody's free to add their items. And we just go through those, through those items. So, and we're presenting patches. We are discussing, I don't know, like, what's going to happen with OSP? So somebody might be concerned about that. And maybe I don't know. I read some uh, something on the list, and I can share with with the, the other university. So it's like uh, it's all about collaboration. Um, yeah, the first call was the week uh, after uh, after we came from that meeting in Madrid, and we were actually worried if it was like if we were, if we were going to have enough things to discuss. So we were thinking maybe we have to do a week a call every two weeks, but you know at the end. I think everybody's waiting for that call during the week, and everybody wants to be there, and everybody wants to work on that. So, uh, so we're doing it every week since uh, uh, yeah, yeah, 19. That's an American date. <laughs> yeah. And we we checked this morning, and we've done already 25 calls. So that's uh, 25 hours of collaborative work. That's the work that you do afterwards in your university. So in Madrid, we created some teams, small teams, like a, a, a team focused on Jira, a team focused on uh, Jira Triage, which is try to, you know, there are a lot of Jiras open in Sakai. Um, maybe we need to start solving those of them. So uh, that's what the Triage is for. Then we have another small team for just focus on internationalization and crowding. Another team focused on security, and another team focused on uh, general things. But actually, that's like not a team. Everybody is working on that. So that's a, a screenshot of the uh, Aether path. So you can see that we divide the topics uh, on those teams. Um, yeah, so we just go through the, the list. Um, we usually have like eight to ten people attending the call. And also, there are more. There is more people working on this path. Eight to ten people attend attend the course. So, dedicated teams. That's uh, that's working. Uh, yeah, as I said, the Jira team is like the core team. What they do, like we just if we open a rest uh, Jira that week, we just put it there and say, hey, we just found this problem, so that you guys are aware. Is anybody work, uh, willing to work on this? We're gonna try to ping the community to see if somebody's working on this. 
and it's, it's like that's a simple one. The I tin um, team is focused on uh, specific problems with with I tin Like yesterday, we were talking with uh, the guys from uh, Japan. We might collaborate with them to try to instead of using routing to use transcripts because we we were having problems with the Catalan translation. They're having problems exporting the files, and they seem to have that solved. So, yeah, why don't we try to, to use it? Yes? I, I need to pass on from the How many institutions do you have? It's like, a, I believe it's a seven, seven to eight. To eight How yeah. many developers do you have? I go to the, to the slide um, because I think it will be easier. Yeah, so that's like University of Lleida. They were the first one to run Sakai. They actually ran an alpha version of, of Sakai. And they did the whole, uh, IT, well, not the, everything, but I mean, to uh, the IT9 effort, because before it was everything hard, hard code on the, on the code. Then UPV, which uh, for developers, Murcia, Navarra, Madrid, uh, another university from Murcia, and then a virtual university. And then uh, three companies also are. Uh, El Clever, um, Asahi, and some of them are actually they are attend the meetings also. <laughs> you said that all those steps are developers or are they a structured designer? And no, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mix. Okay. No, it's, it's right here. How many developers? Then? It depends on the university. Like for example, I would say it's more or less three quarters of that. Of that. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, mainly uh, all the institutions, uh, mostly all the institutions that we mentioned, they're not using uh, um, Sakai commercial affiliates. They have their own, um, they host their own instance. Oh. And they have I mean, maybe at least one developer. Oh. Others have two, others have five, six, oh. depending on the, yeah, the size of their university. And Which means that each institution is different than Sakai. Yes, that was yes, one yes, of yes. the problems, having a, a different version on each, on each institution. So the first patch that we did uh, as a group, we had to do it for both, more than one person. Okay. But we moved, this time we moved to the 2 9. Yeah, actually, the patch is developed by Samu, because at that time, not everybody was in 2 7. They had to backport some of them to 2 6 because some institutions were in 2 6. But that one of the goals of this group was to try to get everybody in the same person, which makes everything easier. I think now we're uh, mostly everybody is in tonight, so that's pretty good. And actually, we're now, I would say we're focused on trauma because of the process that you're going to see. We just want to get things done for trauma to make sure that they will be in the next person. And if we actually uh, achieve that, to have the patch for the next person, we're confident enough to for applying to our own instance, so there's no problem with that. And then the security team, which we have to uh, uh, make a special mention to our, two of our colleagues who are not here, because uh, it's Alex uh, from Lleida and Jose Laval from Murcia, because it seems like a big team, and it's uh, actually three people working really, really hard to improve the Sakai's uh, security uh, yeah. globally, for everybody. I mean, this is for everyone, and you, you can see the, the trees. Okay, so, about the translation, as we mentioned, we're using crowding right now. We, we, we have the translation up to 100 uh, for the for Sakai 10, which is the first time that uh, a new release have come out with a fully translated uh, uh, in Spanish, fully translation. So we also have to care about two other languages in this group, Basque and Catalan, as Raul mentioned. We will uh, discuss with the uh, uh, people from Japan about their move to Transifest and maybe try to get the whole community to join the same, the same platform. We, we know that the French community and the Hindi community are using crowding also for, for translation. So, how, how are we working? If you see the, the, the first um, part, <coughs> That would be the local um, way of working. I mean, you do, you have your code in production. You do, a, let's say you find a bug, you fix your code, 
you test it, and if it's working, you just put it to production. That's how it will work, right? You can work like that. But there is a whole process in the community that you should be aware of. When somebody finds a bug, they fill up the tube. They uh, fix it in trunk. They create, or well, try to look for the fix in, in trunk. They create a patch. Um, they go to a Sakai uh, core team called, that's how we call them. They're on Thursdays. Um, they might tell you to improve the patch if, if something is wrong. Um, yeah, if, if you have to improve it, improve it. And if not, they put it in trunk. Okay, so, so it's like local, how you work with local improvements, how you work with global improvements. And this is how we added our custom um, process to the Sakai process. So now, whenever we find a problem, we take it to a Sakai uh, a Spanish uh, team call. We do our own QA, uh, QA process. Which is we review the Jira, we apply it to a QA server that we are using. Um, if everything works fine, we take it to the Sakai protein calls because so far nobody from the Spanish team has come in permissions on track. We can come in translations, but we cannot come in um, code. Okay, so we have to use this process. Um, yeah, it's working. Uh, Regarding what we are doing for QA, uh, we have two servers. Uh, one is running a 2.9, one is running uh, a strand that is updated uh, there, yeah, with, uh, with Jenkins. They are all updated. And Juanjo uh, created some uh, functionality uh, that makes it really easy to apply patches. So we just put the Jira that we want to apply, the Jira ticket, and it applies, you run a job on being in Jenkins, and it applies the patch to restart the server, and you have, and you can test it in a, actually in a QA before you go to uh, a Sakai core team call. So you're confident enough that what you've done is working, and it's working on trunk. So that, uh, yeah, it's, it's really important uh, to be aware that we, we are using that process. Here are some screenshots of uh, the one on the top left is uh, the QA trunk. Um, it's a simple QA. Here, actually, you can see. Um, everybody can use this, right? There's uh, the URL Sakai uh, uh, that test that Attica um that s on a portal. Sorry. Oh, that's a two nine. Okay, is it working exactly the same for trunk? Um, yeah, what? Okay, the trunk. Oh, the trunk is there tonight. But what I was going to point you is that here we list the patches that we apply. So everybody is aware of what is actually uh, in in that moment. Uh, what can you test at that moment? Okay. And then some screenshots from the handsome and the top right is the functionality that I said that I'm, uh, made for. Um, make it really easy to apply those, those patches. So, as so we say, it's working. And here are some uh, use cases. Um, for example, the drag and drop um, folder. This is uh, from Danny. They, uh, they develop the new drag and drop uh, functionality in resources, and he um, enhance that functionality to also be uh, available so that you could uh, draw and draw a whole folder to Sakai. And we've done it with, like, he created a patch, uh, fill up a Jira, go into a Spanish call, review the patch, uh, if it's good, put it in a CLE uh, core team call, they will say, oh, you have to change this. Then again, restart the process. And at the end, it's in trunk. Everybody will have it for Sakai 11. I don't know if it's in the but yeah. <clears throat> also for um, the redesign for uh, um, in message in the message tool, you can now um, in an easier way you can choose uh, who you want to send the message. Like uh, I don't know how you say it in English, but I mean redesign. We've done following this process, so at the end the message this process is working. 
and we believe that it's appreciated by the community. We actually, we were aware of that before coming here, but now that we're here and that we've talked with the people from the core team calls, you know, we realize that we really appreciate the way we're, the way we're working. So uh, we encourage you to uh, follow, or to try to follow the same uh, processes. And now we're feeling closer to the community, and uh, migrations becomes easier for everybody. Do you believe us? If not, <laughs> this is the selling, the selling part. <laughs> uh, these, here are some graphics. Actually, this one is uh, quite complicated to to see something, but this is the global, this from Jira, uh, the global trends for uh, Jira's creating, Jira's uh, solve. That's the, when we started working with this uh, me uh, methodology. But because there was a release around that time, it's hard to see it, but it's really easy to see here with uh, security. That's when we started to change. <clears throat> the red were the security open gears that you can see that they were going higher and higher, and the green one is the fixed security issues. Probably one hospital fell has something to do uh, with that because it's, a, it's, it's impressive, and you can see the trend uh, in the last slide. It's going up. Uh, as always, there are some good things, some bad things. Uh, about the good things. We're moving forward. We feel like they appreciate the work we're doing, and that uh, makes us more comfortable to keep on doing things. Um, it's not only about security issues. We're fixing all kinds of things now, because global problems are local problems for us. We just prioritize them, and we uh, try to do the work. It's helping us to coordinate better. We now understand the needs of every of the Spanish institutions, so we are able to actually help somebody on something. If they thank you, <laughs> we'll work at something. <laughs> See, this is, this is teamwork. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, but there are some bad things. The core team calls sometimes are really overloaded, so it takes us a long time to actually get the things in turn, which slows us down because, you know, every week, oh, when we go through the patches, it's like, oh, there wasn't time the others call for, for this patch, so we'll have to wait till next week. Also, it's not bad for all tools because, as you know, in within the community, there are working groups, so if you do a core team call and you bring a Sanio ticket, they might say, hey, uh, have you asked the Sanio team? So it's not, uh, always as straight as we mentioned. Um, yeah, um, your concern might not be shared by the global community, um, but this is probably a, a global thing for open source. Everybody has their own issues. Um, that's those are your problems. It might not be the other people's problem. You're using the same software as him, but you know each one has to deal with their own uh, local problems. Um, we had the feeling that we were in the bad time, in, in, in the wrong place, at the wrong time. Because when we work, US is sleeping. Um, every time we do something in Jira, you don't get an answer until the day after. So, uh, yeah, it's complicated. But to make a comparison of how we felt and how we feel, we feel like right now we're involved, we feel like we can actually help, we feel like uh, we're valuable for this community, um, we believe that they should be aware of that, and um, that if we keep on doing this uh, work, they have to take care of us, um, yeah, um, that's how we feel. This is probably uh, a consequence. Uh, the work we're doing. This year, Diego and Juanjo were both awarded with a um, Avril Fellow, which I think that you know it's for both communities, Jesse and Sakai. Um, out of six people, two were Spanish working in this group. I think it's uh, something to be proud of. And also, Raul uh, was by, um, David was awarded from UPB, uh, I think, a couple of years ago. 
for his contribution to IT 89 and everything. This is a picture of the whole, not the whole group. There is a lot of people working behind these faces, and we have to uh, appreciate also their work. Uh, we feel really, um, I would say, um, happy um, to be here, that we are representing a lot of people. Uh, we only came six people from this, from this group. Uh, there is a lot of people, even more than in that picture, uh, that are actually doing all this work. So. Uh, yeah, but so that you have a sense of what's happening in, in the Spanish community. So, thank you for your time, and I believe we have some time for questions. Yeah, so I have five minutes for questions. Yes? Um, I'm from China, and I just said you are in the wrong time. I'm in the world time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I have a question. You see that if you have seven generations, seven universities in set, you Shanghai, and the, how do you maintain the code in for different universities? I believe that every university has some local qualification, at least for them, for example, the logo or the. the yeah. Yeah. Is it? Is not the? Um, it's not just one code. Just one code. No, 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 not just one code. Each university has their own deployments. And they deploy it in their servers. Yeah. So oh. we are not using the same code. At so all. how do you maintain this code? For example, uh, some bug, fa bug is fixed, and how to get the patches to all the universities? Yeah, as, I, uh, as, as we said before, now we're thinking not in two nine, we're thinking in Trump. So all the fixes that we do, we do it for Trump. And then, uh, if that institution, okay, let's let's put it with an with an example. Uh, data, for example. Let's say they find a bug and they want to fix it. They find it locally in their instance. The first thing to do is to go to a Sakai QA server and check if that problem is also in, in a QA server. If, in a, if it is in a QA server, it's a community problem, right? They try to solve it. They solve it. They solve it for Trump. So uh, after applying that patch in Trump, they try to apply it to their local instance. So it's not like we're maintaining one code for each, each institution. Okay. So you do this mean that if I fix a bug and commit to Trump, and then I just uh, wait, and the other universities will have it patched until the Trump acceptance, right? Sorry? Yes, but yeah. Yeah. We, we send but the DAs to backport to the actual version and send the, the patch to the other universities if in the case they want to apply. But each university applies locally these patches. We work together to create the solution in track. And after that, the university decides if they want to apply this patch or not. We send the, the year and number it has the code. Okay. <clears throat> the cool thing about this is that, for example, in this case, if Jada decides to fix that problem locally, he probably backport the patch to 9 and he would share it with everyone. So, so you need to be, you don't have any um, common source. No. Control. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. yeah. We just got together because we realized that we were doing the same thing. And how can you um, maintain the, uh, which work we did, work by the other people? Because each school might have different needs. Yeah, I mean. It's just uh, good, every call we every call we offer the, the the patches that we have we have in our in our own instance or the patches we would like to have in the, in the, in the instance. So we have like a first uh, filter between among us to say okay, I have this feature required by my universities and by my my by my faculty and this feature is doing this thing. It's good for you. Think it's good for the community or not? I'll be like, okay, that one is good. That one is not good. That one is useful or not? That's like a first thing. And we decide, okay, maybe I have already done it in my 2.9 version. So okay, okay, I will. You say it's okay. So now I'm gonna do the effort to convert that patch to the trunk version. Yeah, and offer. When you say trunk, it's a Sakai source code. That the yeah. When I say trunk, I mean the last, the latest Sakai code. That is not too different with our actual version, but it's but it's different. And most most of the time, the, the right patch, the, the same patch I have for my 
instance is not worth for the trunk version. So we have to redo it again, we reapply it, modify it, and, re and redo it. Wait, wait. No. No, 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 no. That's what I'm confused. Trunk is like the latest code. Yeah, it's a own. It's, it's not like Cyclotron nowadays is a Cyclotron 11. 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you're using Cyclotron 9. Sometimes yeah. Cyclotron 9 is not compatible with Cyclotron 11. Yeah. yeah. So we have to do the, the effort of creating our, our patch from 29, put it in a trunk, and, you know, fix all the, the problems that could be. And after that is done in my local version of trunk, we put it in a common version of trunk. So, we pass like a second filter that is once the patch is done, we put it in the in the Umu trunk, okay, that is shared by all of us. And what we do is we do like a cross check. Like oh. if I do the patch, they test it. They do the patch, they test it. Okay. So every patch has been has passed two filters. The one, one filter is like a feature filter, feature, feature uh, like a useful for the community feature, and the other filter is like a testing the code. Mm -hmm. Doing the that course. And, and we have found really was useful. Some of not all not all the patches have I mean, not all the features have are approved to go to the trunk. Yeah. We are like very yeah. sometimes I have a really complicated feature for tech feature. Yeah. 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 But I can try that two cases on my own instances. So yeah. if it's working, it's like, it's yeah. So we, we always put the information in Jira. Yeah, that's what it's That's the first yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. the first that's thing, thing is to put the, the information in Jira. Yeah. And sometimes uh, we also even put the, the patch for the Zuna inversion that is the dark zone. But now, I mean, the, the community decided that it's, not, it's better just to put the, the patch for the trunk. Sometimes we have the, the patch in our yeah. and, and another message is that for us to be as close to the trunk, it's better. Because it will be easier to apply those patches and it will be easier at the end to migrate to the new version. In the trunk, it's not a problem. It's not possible to get older to know older versions. Yeah. Does it work? Yes, really, you have to do more, more work now to have the two versions. Yes. But it's less work in the future. So it's an investment. Yeah, it's a it's a long term long term yeah. thing, but the, the short term wasn't working, so yeah. we had to change and go to a long term approach in order to. You you might have to tell your user, hey, we cannot give it to you right now, but it will be in the next version. But before you could give it to him now, but probably in the next version, you won't ever be able to give it because maybe they will move the two out. Like, yeah. So. The thing is, for, for our, our example in the university, is that we apply a lot of local, local patches to our instance. Now, every time we have to change version, we have to do to a review of all those patches that, that have been applied to, to, uh, to our instance. And we migrated it in February, and it took us four months to migrate, two months of development, applying all those patches to the drum version, two other months of testing and review. And that's a lot of time. For migration. That means that we can only migrate every two years. Not every day. We would like. And, yes. and the thing is, if we get all those patches that I have there and I put I decide, hey, this is useful? No, I probably won't. Is this useful? Yeah. I'm gonna do the work, put it in trunk. Next version would be easier for me to to migrate. Or I will. <laughs> About. This, is, this has probably happened because, as we said, none of the universities are using a certain condition of it. So, because we have our own uh, developers, you, you try to fix your things. Probably uh, working with a certain condition of it, you won't face the problems that we are describing. About migration. Uh, Sakai community only supports the last two versions of the code. So every two years, um, it's, uh, we think it's necessary to migrate. Because if you don't migrate, you have uh, an obsolete code that is not supported by the community. And two years is a uh, few time. So it's good for us to have the code in trunk.
So you put it in the trunk and it's uh, there forever. And the idea is that it's not only good for us, for the Spanish. Ah, it's good it's for everybody. Good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. That's the reason of why the people appreciate it for work. So, if there's no more questions, oh. no, I just want to congratulate you <laughs> because it's very mm -hmm. important the, the institutional support uh, in group. So, you, you are giving the example because nobody can start doing this, and it's only a congratulation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, thank you for coming.